In this video, we're going to look at how you can use Dr. Frost for independent practice. So you may already be familiar with your teacher having set you some assigned work that you can find in your My Homework section. But now we're going to look at how you can practice some skills without your teacher having set them to you. So you've got the big blue starter practice button at the top. And if you click on that, then you'll see you've got a few different options. You can start browsing by topic, and this means that you can look for key skills or exam skills on any skill that we have on Dr. Frost. You can find past papers for your exam board and you can practice those exams online and Dr. Frost will mark them for you there and then. You can do some times table practice or you might want to do a cleanup activity where you get a chance to just redo four questions that you recently got incorrect. Now, if you start browsing by topic, there can be a challenge that you need to know how to find the topic that you're looking for. So for example, if I want to find expanding brackets, then I know that's a key stage three or four topic and I know that's found in algebra, but sometimes that can be a bit difficult for a student to get there. So there's a few different ways that you can do it. If we go back to the home screen just by using the DFM there, then we can start to type in the top button, um, top search bar. So we can start to say, right, I want to expand single brackets. Um, and then up comes the skill like this, and I could click on the skill and it will take me to the same uh, place that I was before. But even that more often than not can be a bit more challenging. So quite often teachers will give you the code that they want you to practice. So if we just remember K83D, then from the dashboard, we can actually just go K83D, and this is the key skill that I want to practice. Expand two sets of single brackets and collect like terms. So I can click on that, find the right skill, and then I can start to practice. Now, just before I hit practice, it's really good to notice that any time you do some practice on Dr. Frost, whether that's through a homework or some independent practice, then you'll start to be able to see all of the different key skills show your recent accuracy. And it's quite a nice picture to build up that it's really obvious to you what it is that you could be doing more practice on. So we could practice just K83D, this particular key skill, and we can say, I want to practice that. And then you can decide whether you want to have a fixed number of questions, whether you want to say that you need to get a certain number of questions right to finish, or you could just say, keep on going until I say. Once you press start, up come the questions, and this will be your familiar territory where you know how to put in your answers. You've got your watch worked example button up at the top, and you can do some independent practice. Now, if I just go back to K83D again, the other options, rather than selecting just one key skill, is you can press the checkbox there, and this will mean that you will get to do all of the key skill practice with the associated skill. So in this case, by checking this button here, I'm gonna get to do these five key skills all associated with expanding a single bracket and I can press practice like that. The other thing I could do is I could select the exam practice and I could do all the exam questions on expanding a single bracket. Now there's nothing to stop you selecting more than one type of exam practice or even selecting um, a few different key skills to practice in one go. This is entirely up to you. Okay, so I'm just gonna choose exam practice now, when I choose practice now, I do get some options to change it to my particular exam board. So you might find this handy to click into exam questions only, and maybe you want to find your exam board. Let's go for Edexcel GCSE Foundation, and we can say that we want to filter my exam practice there. I can also play around with the difficulty. If I want the more challenging questions, then I could say I only want difficulty three to four, and so on and so forth. So then I could start a practice and I'd get the more challenging exam questions from my exam board. So that's one way that you can use Dr. Frost to find uh, skills to practice, and that's by using the code or the search bar up at the top. The other way that you might want to use it is if your teacher has set you up on courses. So here I'm on the year eight course. And if I click on that, 
then this is actually the white rose maths course and it means that it's ordered in the order that I'm going to be learning it in my lessons so I've got autumn spring and summer now what's handy here is that if you uh, are maybe not sure on the code or your teacher hasn't actually asked you to do some practice but you want to do something um, that's relevant to what you're learning in class then if you use the course then it will be organized um, in in the teaching order so here I am it's autumn and it's September for example so I know I'm going to be doing some ratio and scale and again it's the same idea that I can see which of the key skills I've not got that high accuracy on and I can choose to practice them using the practice button here. I've also got a few other options that you can do if you go down to the very bottom, you've got revision options here and you could select all of the key skill practice or you could select all of the exam practice. And then that's just a quick way of starting, um, starting the practice. The final thing that you can do is that you'll always have two different skills that are being recommended to you to practice. And these will be recommendations based on recent activity that you've done on Dr. Frost. So recently I've been practicing collecting like terms, so I can click on that. And then I just need to scroll down to skill 80. And again, it's clear to me that it's that one that I need to practice. And then to get full mastery, I could choose to practice the key skills that I've not done any recent practice on. Again, I can use the blue practice button here to now start doing some questions on them. Okay, so hopefully that's a useful video for you to know how you can start to practice some questions on Dr. Frost without your teacher having set them to you.